Hi my friends, welcome to the Young and the Restless breaking news. Today I talk about the Young and the Restless spoilers, Nate defends Amanda Devon calls her a scam artist. The Young and the Restless spoilers tease that Nate Hastings will defend Amanda Sinclair in an upcoming episode of the Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless spoilers, Amanda Sinclair and Nate Hastings' legal business is done. Amanda and Nate's legal business is done, now that Amanda won his case with the medical board, and he pays her for her services. He asks her what her plans are, and she has closed up shop in Madison, Wisconsin, where she had been based out of, and looking for a new start. Nate tries to talk her into staying in Genoa City and opening up a new law office there in town. After all, with two corporations, Newman Enterprises and Jabot Collective being based there, plus the Grand Phoenix, there are plenty of legal services she could provide. Amanda, however, is concerned that her strong resemblance to the late Hillary Hamilton would be a hindrance, especially since Hillary had been a well-loved television personality locally and so many people would recognize her face. Nate knows that Amanda cannot help that she bears an uncanny resemblance to Hillary, and it certainly wasn't anything that she made happen. It may be a distraction to some people until they get to know Amanda for Amanda, and as they get to know her, even if they knew Hillary well, they will start to realize that other than their faces, there are differences in the two women. Why and our spoilers, Devon Hamilton and Elena Dawson enter and Devon starts harassing Amanda Sinclair to Nate Hastings. Devon Hamilton and Elena Dawson enter the hotel lobby and interrupt, with Devon harassing Amanda to Nate, calling her a fraud and a scammer. Amanda takes off as Elena starts to lecture Nate, telling him his heart must not be in the right place. Nate tells them he refuses to avoid Amanda just because she happens to look like Hillary. Elena tries to get Nate to rethink his involvement with Amanda, but Nate won't back down. After all, if it weren't for Amanda's expert representation of him to the medical board, he could have lost his medical license. Devon's not phasing Nate, just because they are cousins doesn't mean that Nate cannot have his own opinions of others, and it certainly doesn't mean Nate is abandoning his own family, because his opinion of Amanda differs radically from Devon's. Young and the restless spoilers, Devon Hamilton is just scapegoating Amanda Sinclair. Of course, Devon is upset from just having lost his fortune for no reason, and now there does not seem to be any way to retrieve it, so he is using Amanda as a scapegoat, since Kane Ashby is long gone, as far as Devon is concerned, skipped town with his money which he never should have signed over to him, to begin with. At the time, Devon believed that the two pages to Catherine Chancellor's will have been real, since they were authenticated, but Chance Chancellor made a good point when he mentioned authenticators are often paid off to authenticate documents. However, Nate won't join in the scapegoating, no matter how Devon and Elena try to convince him, and he will continue to defend Amanda to them. What do you think about this video? Please comment below this video, thanks for watching, and don't forget subscribe my channel. Goodbye see you next video.